I saw this, by the way. Uh, Brad Pitt says he believes he has a disease where he can't recognize faces. I think I have this too. He okay. thinks he suffers from prosopognosia, face blindness. He has not been tested or diagnosed, but he, he's sure he has it. Oh, my God. I'm every, I make this faux pas all the time. Just like, hey, nice to meet you. Actually, we met several times. Come on. Go with it. Yeah, <laughs> I have, so you always have to say nice to see you. That's why I, I moved to yeah. that. I moved yeah. to that because I just can't take the risk anymore. But sometimes I forget and I'll be like, oh, what was your name? And then it's like we met several t- fucking hell. Yeah. And, and so now I'm going to say I have the Brad Pitt disease. Yeah, I say a micropesia, you know, give me a break. So many people, he says, hate me because they think I'm disrespecting them. I took one year where I just said this year, I'm just going to cop to it and say to people, OK, where did we meet? But it just got worse. Mm-hmm. People were more offended. You get this thing like you're being egotistical. You're being... Uh, conceited. Here's here's another thing is, you looked familiar to me, Chris, before we met, and I can't tell with a lot of comedians, I've watched them on stage a lot, I've watched them in the same circles, we might not have met, but I'll sometimes walk up to them as if, we or, or worried that we did, when meanwhile, I just know them from seeing them on the scene so much, and they have never said a word to me, and so that's another faux pas, it's like, I don't know if... But that's part of the weird culture of comedians, I think, is that everybody's just kind of like, oh, yeah, like we've been around each other for yeah. years. Like we all – like I feel like people get less offended in that world at least because I think everybody deals with that. I just did something fucked up recently where like I was like, oh, have we – oh, have we met or something like that? And she's like, you were at my house playing poker. Oh, that's bad. And on my sh- – like that's it was a bad. podcast and I was like – Fuck, she looked familiar. Why did I go with that? Why did I go with that? It's so disrespectful. Ooh. And I I, I, I go just with... am bad at that. Like she wasn't a bad whole. Like it was a good time. I just I had also met at least five people in that room that day. Fuck me. I, I go with we definitely didn't meet. Hi. <laughs> and it doesn't usually work. I yeah. gotta change it. I don't like when you go, hi, how you doing? Nice to see you, or nice to meet you. And they go, We've met before. Yeah, come on. Or, or no, no, they go, I think we've met before. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't know that's how we can play it. Well, I think yeah. we did too. Yeah. What do but you think of that? I feel like you can't you can't cover it up by saying I have the Brad Pitt disease because then everybody's going to think you're aging backwards. <laughs> <laughs> right. going to uh, think you mean that. He says, it's a mystery to me, man. I can't grasp a face because oh, you're a moron. And yet I come from such a design aesthetic point of view. So a little humble brag there. He's an architect. I'm going to get it tested. But you know what? This Angelina Jolie's like, hey, asshole. It's my time. Yeah. I had my tits removed. I'm getting my ovaries removed. Oh, do you have something too? Yeah. You can't tell faces. Yeah. Oh, well, let's make sure Esquire writes you up, you asshole. Yeah. 